Hallelujah. God is too intelligent to give a man an assignment to just get up, become an adult, marry, have children, get a job, struggle, arguing, retire and die. That does not sound divine. You must find a divine component in your assignment. You must go back and flog it out with destiny. Lord Jesus, thank you for the job you've given me, but there has to be more. What is it for? And there are some of you, God will speak to you and say, Mama, I gave you four children. Make sure all those children serve God. That is your assignment. So Mama immediately becomes an intercessor. She may never go for a crusade. She may not have the opportunity to preach, but she will sit down and pray every stubborn child from every club to a church. She will pray every spirit out of him until one day from that, he will be hearing a crusade from a beer parlor and fire will fall on both him and that bottle. And before you know it, that guy has been converted. And when he tells you his story, the mother will say, I knew while you were away insulting everybody drunk and roaming around i was praying apostle boy i don't know my assignment start praying start from there let your first assignment be interceding for those who know sow that seed and start interceding for those who have found their place God on Lindsay, you may want to study about him, Christ for the nations. He's gone to be with the Lord. He had a phenomenal ministry. God on Lindsay was a very serious healing evangelist. And the way he started his ministry was by partnering with many people to succeed in their ministries until he finally found his place. Now, there are many people here who, the way your body is itching for ministry, God will never reveal your assignment to you because you are not willing to serve, not to hear God, not to submit to authority, not to listen. There are people, their obsession is just to be general overseer. And God says, I'm too serious for that nonsense. If you are not willing to serve, are we together now? Yes. Just because you saw a vision of you starting a church, I don't know why I'm speaking this, maybe I'm speaking to somebody who is following. It does not mean you rebel against the current system. It's your faithfulness that qualifies you. What you saw is not a lie, but timing is important. You will struggle for the five years you should be mentored until you, are, you punish yourself and then when the five years elapses, you call it breakthrough. Make sure you serve. If you have one day to serve in any man's work, serve faithfully. So that when you leave, a man of God once prayed for somebody who he was releasing. And he said, may God raise men to do to you what you did to me. If you were faithful, you would shout amen kneeling down. Is that true? If you were wicked and you stole and you caused trouble, will you say amen? Divine callings. Apostle, I've never had this thing for preaching. Who is saying you must be a preacher? A witness is not a preacher alone. But by all means, you must declare Jesus through your life, through your wealth. John 1 six and seven give it to us this is the universal mandate of every believer as far as being a witness is concerned there was a man sent from god whose name was anything you can put your name there it still fits whose name was john elisha mary please give us verse six let me finish verse six there was a man or a woman sent from god it doesn't matter what your name is you put it there you are still correct verse 7 the bible says the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him through her through his business through politics through whatever it is might believe not everybody will be on stage like this not everybody will be given a global ministry you can be a pastor that can be trusted with a simple local assembly and let me tell you this use make sure let this is an honest respectful message to the body of christ respect your assignment no matter how small you think it is not everybody will have a global ministry ladies and gentlemen not everybody will have the opportunity to speak to kings and stand before nobles if you are anna the prophetess and you are looking for the visibility of paul you will lose your ministry hallelujah there are people who will be sent and may have a membership not more than two three hundred 
a beautiful family church and their assignment is to raise those people and if you sit down comparing and saying ah look at these people joshua selman around the nation talking with kings you will be mistaken it's only when god judges us you will know who was faithful are we together the man who has 50 members and prayed for them when anyone passes on he's there risking his life they are waking him and his wife by 2 a.m no protocol to come and visit him god is seeing the faithfulness of that man you are just seeing what about our social media is telling you it's god that knows the truth of our service whatever you want to say lord you can say through me whatever you want to do lord you can do through me whoever you want to reach lord you can reach through me some of you god prospered you made you millionaires gave you business you became wealthy the kingdom has not benefited one naira i respect your sacrifice but from a divine standpoint that is mundane everything is only measured with respect to its contribution towards the salvation of men the transformation of believers and the advancement of god's program let me repeat everything is only relevant in the kingdom with respect to its contribution to the salvation of men the maturing of believers and the advancement of god's program apostle i'm beautiful apostle i'm rich apostle i'm educated i salute you and i do not downplay your sacrifice but show me the relevance of that which you have or you know or you do let me measure it against souls that are saved let me measure it against believers that have been matured and mentored let me measure it against the advancement of god's program in fact even the betterment of society and when it has to do with societal transformation you don't have to be a christian you just need to be an adult and educated and humane enough are we together show me the one child that went to school because of the school fees you paid and whether you are a Christian or not I will clap for you and I will not clap in the secret show me a family that was able to eat because God gave you a million naira because God gave you a million dollars you got a contract now you have a big business yes in my world though i don't clap easily no i don't clap because you brought a car or because you brought this now i salute people's sacrifices i'm not one of those people who downplays no if you are anointed it was not easy if god bless you you are not it's not easy if god gave you influence but i want to see the pro kingdom approach this is what commands my applause my beauty brought five men who like me to church now they've forgotten the issue of beauty and they're serving god congratulations may god multiply that beauty you see it now i got a job in shell and from the money god gave me by the privilege of god's grace there's a local church somewhere there and because of it now they can hold a revival meeting and souls are saved. let me see who wants to remove you from that place come to me for prayer We celebrate things in isolation to kingdom and we do not care. I bought 10 cars. I respect it. But what does that mean to God? How many layers of your dead body will be inside when you're not there? I have 50 houses. See, there is a way a believer should think. Please listen. This is church. There is a, a believer should always think with respect to salvation of souls respect to the maturity of the church with respect to the betterment of society and ultimately the advancement of the program of god you are not a matured and effective believer if this does not define the scope of your reasoning so if you come to me generally i would attend to you but if you want me to talk to you seriously these are the four areas there must be something in your discussion that must be pointing towards salvation of souls the maturing the maturity of believers are we together 
helping society to become a better place one day you just drive to a filling station and say the three people behind me having their bikes i will pay for the full tank of their foil you don't need to know me this is courtesy jesus to you that is mission with five thousand naira you have made an impact and one somebody in that car will look at you and say you did this for me what church do you attend and he said that's not the issue it's not just the issue of church even though you are welcome i'm just telling you that this is what jesus produces in people who love him that gospel will be understood are we together you step into a school and say i may not do that for everybody but show me five people here regardless religion i want to pay their wayek fees and those children will come and say thank you ma i don't know you but i've been an orphan i was thinking how i will write my wayek and god will say you did this little did you know that you're an evangelist in the making you thought you were just a humanitarian person one way to know your assignment is to be faithful where you are did you hear what I said? One way to know your assignment is to be faithful where you are. You are in the prayer department, pray and be serious. You are in the ushering department, don't mind those who are pushing you as they are falling under the anointing. God is watching. All the time you hold them and fall with them. One day God decides to lift you. It is beautiful to be able to tell men, I once served like this, like this before God lifted me. Hallelujah. God never reveals the entire blueprint of your purpose for you day one. No matter how clear you thought you saw or heard, I can tell you there is more. Because of the unfaithfulness of those who are not serious with his program for a long time, they elapse their period of mercy as far as subscribing to the assignment is concerned, or the will of man can make God reinvent strategies because he gave man a will. Are we together now? Yes. God gave man a will. This is why his counsel is eternal, but his methods change. If God's method is for you to take a flight to Lagos and the pilot says, I refuse to cooperate with God, God will make another channel available. His eternal counsel is Lagos, you must get there. But the routes to get there can be altered because he respects the will of men. Are we learning? When you say you are a matured Christian, your maturity is based on many indices. Number one, the kingdom compliancy of your thinking. The way you have cultured your thinking and understanding to revolve around the interest of God. That's one of the things that make you a matured Christian. And then the fact that your life is actively participating in this program called Kingdom Come. Not just by preaching alone. There are many ways to be part of it. Again, let me use my kitchen example. You can be, there are no 10 people that will prepare a pot of soup or a pot of stew or a meal. But there can be many supporting people. Someone can go to the market to bring the ingredients. Are we together? Someone can help clean the kitchen to make it nice. Someone can wash or buy the plates. Someone can, there are many ways you can be part of it. Don't tell me I do not know my assignment. And that is why I'm not serious. I go to church when I want to. If I feel like feeling has destroyed many people. Destiny demands discipline. It's not about feeling. It's that there is a mandate upon your life. For some of you, what you have heard tonight will birth a vision, will birth a ministry, will birth a business, will birth an NGO. Something you have heard tonight, somebody will be a direct beneficiary of what the Spirit of God has said. Everything about your life must reflect His glory. You want to be relevant in this season? You want to be part of God's prophetic program? It is beyond just going to church to clap, shout, sing, cry fall stand carry your bible and go home that is wonderful but there has to be more you must make up your mind for someone your whole assignment is to raise that one child god gave you make sure that gentleman grows to become an exceptional leader but i'm too busy you see that's the point 
when you know something is your assignment you will create time for it are we learning mm. you will create time for it the songs we sing they all belong to you and even the air we breathe it all belongs to you belongs to you that must be your commitment tonight belongs to you I have taught you koinonia but let me teach you again lose a sense of ownership over everything you are and have that does not mean to be irresponsible with respect to administering and managing what god gave you yes you are an owner but re with respect to god's program owners are rebels we do not own anything koinonia belongs to the lord it's a privilege to head and steward this vision your business belongs to the Lord. Ownership mentality has kept people careless and lazy and unserious. The moment you know, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 1 and 2, 1 Corinthians 4, 1 and 2, let a man so account of us, he says, as of the ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Verse 2 says, moreover, it is required in stewards, steward businessmen, steward politicians, steward head of government, steward ministers of the gospel, that a man be found faithful. So next time you look at that thing you see in your bank account, just know that God kept his money with you. Next time you see the intelligence that is causing kings to come, God kept his wisdom with you. Next time you look at your face and you are handsome and beautiful, God kept his beauty with you. It belongs to him. He only kept it as a steward. And as you are mismanaging it, be sure he's watching. Are we together now? Yes, sir. He's watching. I vowed a vow that everything God has given me and made out of my life without, without any sense of negotiation, it belongs to him. And that any day it pleases him to place a demand on it, believe me, the answer is yes. It's yes that brought us thus far. Yes to everything. Will you empty your account? It's painful, but yes. Will you stand even when you are tired? It's painful, but yes. Will you attend to my people even when you are exhausted? It may be painful, but yes. Yes is a powerful key. It can open you up to the next level of your destiny. He who does this to the least of my brethren, is that not in your Bible? He has done the same to me. The Lord is calling on his body, even in this end time. I want you to please listen very carefully. I have seen many visions. I'm not one person who comes to stand and just shout visions and dreams. I like people to be grounded on scripture and that their, their foundation should not just be I saw or I heard. Their confidence as far as their growth and stability should be on that which is written. Even though in truth, what is written came from I saw and I heard. However, because it's been established and vetted by the spirit and proven all through the history of the church it qualifies to be a worthy reference holy men wrote as they were inspired of the holy ghost you want to be part of god's prophetic program you must make up your mind to stop playing games from today you must take the responsibility of number one being a serious christian a serious Christian is not just one who is always coming to church, even though that is important. A serious Christian is one who has made up his mind to love Jesus, to serve Jesus, and to be part of God's program. 
please let me remind you anything you are and anything you have if the salvation of souls if it does not translate to the salvation of souls the maturity of believers the betterment of society and ultimately the advancement of God's program I'm sorry to have to use a harsh expression you are not living you are only existing the difference between existing and living is that you are serving a purpose that is larger and bigger than yourself hallelujah praise the name of the Lord yes especially I speak to my generation wake up sitting idle and making sure the sun rises and goes down and all you do is gisting perhaps gossiping wasting time i love you but those days are over you need to fold that schedule of laziness and spiritual unseriousness and begin to plunge yourself in the larger body of what god is doing if you cannot preach pray if you cannot pray give if you cannot give invite there's something you have to do and there is something you can do and from where you are you can make up your mind i will never go to church alone it is my assignment i may not be able to preach i don't know all those revelation i cannot connect scripture after scripture but i can invite three people to make sure as i'm coming to the house of god that i will be part of those that god will use to add daily to the church as many who should be saved how about being a blessing to your neighborhood you just go somewhere and buy a pack of indomie and one bag of rice and gather all these children that cannot help themselves and say ladies and gentlemen i have come to do something small it may be small but you take one tear of rice go and tell your mother that jesus loves her and this is courtesy it's not i'm not talking about eye service that the eye service damages the benevolence it doesn't even become a blessing again Train your heart to love. Don't watch people cry and say, it doesn't matter since I'm not the one crying. What happened to your heart? We are like that in our family. It's an attack. It's an attack. It's an attack. There is no body of God. The Bible talks about a stony heart. It talks about a heart of flesh. Is that true? Compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity. We are not called to do everything. No, but we are called to do something. Your life must be pro-evangelism. Your life must be pro-maturity of the saints. Your life must be pro-societal transformation. I'm saying this because I'm aware that so many non-Christians follow and listen to me. There are so many Muslims, other pagans, other religions, and I love you. Thank you for following. You have a role to play. That is the truth. If you can make society better, Jesus said, anybody who is not against us is with us. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The greed of men and the selfishness of men is what continues to multiply the pain of society. Are we together now? God is speaking to you right now. God is speaking to you right now. Have you found your place in destiny? Are you ready for this new wine that is coming? Apostle, but I, I needed to explain something. I've been having visions and in these visions, I've been seeing an outpouring of the spirit. God is telling you that you are part of his program, but it, seeing the vision in the dream and writing it is important, but it's not enough. You must begin to find out what needs to be done of this four programs of God prophetic programs of God God's prophetic agenda have you submitted yourself to be purified to allow that judgment to happen to purify your heart all the anger bitterness jealousy you can't do much for the kingdom with that kind of disposition affect my life breathe on me Lord I look to you for life Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Change my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. 
Change my life, breathe on me Forge my life, breathe on me I look to you for life Forge my life, breathe on me I look to you for life I believe the word of the Lord has mightily transformed your mind and don't forget before you go do well to hit the subscribe button and also strike the notification bell you see right there and also share this video to your friends family loved ones so they too can be blessed and have a change and transform mind god bless you we believe the word of the lord has come your way we believe you have been changed we believe you can never remain the same after listening and being blessed by the word of the lord don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also share this message with your family and friends so that you too can be blessed god bless you